Whoa. So, literally just took me about an hour and a half to mount the bottle where I wanted it to mount. Check it out. I ended up not going on the ground. I ended up going up on top right here. There we go. Cool. Just like that. All right, back at it again today. Got up early, had the coffee. Woo! Man, I, I just love that mocha pot, man. That espresso like that, some nice warm almond milk. It's just like the perfect smoothness. But uh, I'm back on to uh, trying to get those coffee reviews done. I'm gonna start doing another series that I haven't thought of a name yet. So uh, if you have any names that you might think might be cool, uh, other than that, I think I have, actually I have a couple on the on the, the mind right now that I think would be pretty sick. But um, anyways, so back onto the routing. It, the nozzles are in the correct location. As of right now, my general understanding is I need one on the back of the car pointing at the bulkhead of the fuel, um, uh, my fuel cell, the bulkhead that comes out of the fuel cell. Then I need one in the cabin pointed at the driver. Um, so it's probably gonna come from under the dash over here. And then one in the engine bay pointed at the fuel system um, so that can be pretty straightforward, but again, I need to double check the rules on the formula drift guidelines for 2020. All right, just finished reading the directions and the FD rule book, and I opened up the package for the aluminum tubing fittings. Um, these are them right here. These are the nozzles. And then these two little fittings go on the end of my pull cord to, uh, attach them to the actual extinguisher bottle handle. Um, these are the fittings that are going to go with this tubing right here to connect my routing and uh, kind of go around the cabin, go to the back of the car, go to the front under the dash area so it points at me, and then into the engine bay to spray. So these nozzles are pretty cool. They give you a lot. There's actually six here. There's uh, five T's and then uh, two L's. So I should definitely be able to make that work. The rules here says that a nozzle must be directed into the driver's cockpit or the compartment but must not be directed directly at the driver okay it also says that there must be a nozzle in the engine bay compartment and in the fuel compartment the fuel nozzle needs to be pointed at the actual bulkhead or the fuel system uh, since i don't have a stock tank and my tank is not under the car which is the first part of the directions in the rule book but since i don't have a stock tank and my fuel cell is not under the car, it needs to be pointed directly at the fuel lines coming out of the actual fuel cell. Shit. Oh, God, this is taking forever. Bending the aluminum tube by hand. Um, not just bending aluminum, it's been taking a long time. Finding or picking out and choosing the nozzle locations. At first I was going to do the two nozzles in the back because I was like, oh, I need it to you know cover everything. But from a different location, I could get that all with the one nozzle. So I've just been going back and forth. I finally found a location right out of the nitrous bottle pointing down at the, the bulkhead for the fuel system. So that'll be perfect. But again, just making this nice and having it look a certain way has been a complete pain in the ass. This thing's looking pretty good. I like it. So those little fittings you can use, um, there's only, they only come with like two of the T's that connect the pipe. But uh, so I had to get a little creative, make sure I wasn't going to mess up anything, you know. And in the back here, it pops out. Let me see if I can show you guys. Right under the nitrous bottle. You can see it. So that it can sit like this. So I'll have to bend that up a little bit. But then it'll spray right on the, the whole area down there, which is where all the fuel concerns are when it comes to fires anyways. Should be good. Oh my god. Oh, pretty much worst idea ever, or worst circumstance ever. Not idea. Uh, installing a fire suppression system into a car that is fully assembled, running, working with everything in it is a nightmare. Kind of like wiring a car with everything in it, um, except for the seats. Terrible. Anyways, um, so yeah, this is where I'm at. I got the in-cabin nozzle um, mounted here. I still have to add my little clips to hold everything in place, but um, this is my old e-brake setup right here. That's gonna be uh, completely redone, but for now it's gonna have to sit just like that. 
the line runs nice and clean up past the shifter here. Under the dash, right by my uh, acceleration pedal, to the right of it though a little bit, and then it pops out right here on the bottom. The reason I went over on the bottom here um, is because if I went over the on the top, it wouldn't get any of the oiling or the fuel lines right here on the side, and I, I thought that was kind of dangerous. So um, I have my oil lines all feeding the oil cooler and the, uh, my oil filter over here, plus you know you have nitrous and all this stuff right on this side. So I'm going to put one nozzle here, then I'm going to go up and over and have the other nozzle sitting right here over the top, over the fuel rails and everything. And I thought that was uh, probably the best setup that I could come up with, you know. Um, but again, it's just so frustrating plumbing this thing. I've been at it all day, literally. I've been doing this the whole day. Um, uh, look at, I messed up a whole span. Uh, the inside of the car, that one was a complete wreck. That was really hard to do. Um, but yeah, this whole piece of aluminum is trash. Good thing that OMP kit came with two of them. Well, I don't know what I would have done. Otherwise, I probably would have gone with soft line, but um, the hard line is very convenient. It stays, and uh, the only thing is I have to make sure that I mount it decently. Otherwise, it's going to be rattling all over the place. So, um, yeah, mounting it will be after after I fix all the nozzles in place. Yes, finally. All right, so check it out. Here's the second nozzle. See it right there? Uh, obviously, you guys can't really tell what's going on because I moved all this stuff because uh, <laughs> motor's getting rebuilt so I kind of just plopped it all on top until the new motor gets in so I could slide it back in but it slides or well, this is the the end nozzle right here and I'll position that right there and then the hard line goes down and under a uh, little pinch right there down through the firewall under the dash under my shifter under the e-brake all that stuff even though I'm going to be repositioning it uh, to the end cabin one and then back to the bottle and then the bottle splits and tees back to the uh, fuel cell compartment so that almost completes the rest of my install or the safety install now I just need to fix it in place with some fasteners make sure it's not gonna be rattling around because that'll drive me nuts and uh, move on to the next thing <laughs> 